Oh great, there's a new JHS video. I love these. It definitely stacks amazing and that's one of the best slide sounds ever. That is much better than Rhett Schull's slide sound. If you are a part of his channel, the crew over there, let him know. I'm calling him out. I have beat any slide tone he's ever achieved. Sick burn. What? He can't be serious. Is he really gonna call me out like that? I have a better slide sound than Josh. That's, that's ridiculous. I can't stand for this. Can't let him just say this stuff on the internet like this and not respond. Yeah, th th this is war. We've all been there before. You have a friend, someone you're close with, someone you share a mutual love of coconut water and bicycling with. And all of a sudden, this friend, someone that you trust, someone that you've shared your deepest, darkest secrets with, they, they betray you publicly. They use their platform that was built for good. It was built to educate and entertain people. And they turn this platform against you. They use it to call out your abilities. Again, I don't need to lecture you on this. We've all been here a dozen times before, but... This won't go unanswered. I can't stand for this. I have to meet Josh head on. I have to fight fire with fire. So in today's episode of the JHS, uh, the Rhett Shull Show, I'm gonna play three different slide sounds, all completely different, all completely inspired and all completely better than Josh's slide sounds using exclusively his own gear. We're gonna use his own weapon against him. We're gonna fight fire with fire. So this isn't the video I wanted to make today. I actually wanted to make a video comparing different LED colors in pedals to see if that actually affects the tone like the internet has been arguing about for decades, but we have to put that important journalistic piece on hold so that I can defend my honor, so I can stand up against the tyranny that the JHS show has imparted on me and my channel. All three of these slide sounds are the best that I can do, they're the best sounds that I can create with these pedals. So you be the judge whose tone is better. This first tone that I'm gonna start with is somewhat cheesy. In fact, the image that I had in my head when I was creating this sound was a garage full of Green Bay Packers fans with cheese wedges on their heads in the depths of the Wisconsin winter, creating the best late 2000s riff rock guitar sounds possible. For this sound, I'm using the JHS Cheeseball Fuzz, along with a little reverb and delay from their three series line of pedals. And once again, you be the judge. Did Josh really beat my slide tone here? I think not. Now for this next sound, I went for something completely different. The image I pictured in my head was myself as Matthew McConaughey leading an expedition into deep space to try and rescue my lost comrades spread across our galaxy on different planets. Using a wormhole and, and fighting gravity wells and, and Einstein's theory of relativity to try and get back to my, my family at home and the struggles. It, it's almost like a, like a spaghetti western meets uh, space epic. And to pull off this epic spaghetti space western, I'm using a three series compressor to kind of even out my tone going into the morning glory and then adding some spacey reverb with the three series reverb. And I think I captured the ethos of the spaghetti space western.
Now for this last sound, I was really trying to answer the age old question, a question that has kept me up at night for, for years and years. What if Muddy Waters had used an early 90s Russian Big Muff? What would he have played? How would music today be different? How would culture be different? Would the Beatles have even happened if Muddy had chosen to travel forward in time to Manhattan, New York and, and pick up this, this iconic fuzz pedal? Well, in this example, I'm trying to answer that. For this sound, I decided to use the Colorbox V2 to kind of shape the tone of my guitar going into the Fuzz, which was the Crimson from the Legends of Fuzz series. And from there, I needed a little bit of slapback delay, a little bit of sauce, if you will. And I went back to the three series delay for that. And so this is my attempt to answer the question, what if Muddy had a big muff? I would consider myself a peaceful man. I don't like conflict. I don't like fighting, especially with friends. But when somebody betrays you like this and they, they call you out and they challenge your honor on the internet, you have to respond. And I think I did that in this video. So if you follow the JHS show on YouTube, you should go over there and let them know. You should let them know that I showed Josh once and for all that between the two of us, I have the superior slide tone. Sick burn. And if you don't follow the JHS show, I'll leave a nice convenient link down in the description box below where you can click through and let them know as well. But ask yourself, would you want to support someone that would betray a friend like this publicly? It's up to you. You have to make that choice for yourself. You have to make that decision and be able to sleep with yourself at night. So that's it. Thank you for watching.